Uh, let's talk about how we can use our personal martial arts background and training, whether it be Shotokan Karate, Kenpo Karate, Wing Chun Kung Fu, uh, Jeet Kune Do Filipino Martial Arts, like me, uh, Thai Boxing, MMA, it, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it doesn't matter what it is, but you, if you have a martial arts background, you can blend your martial arts with your combatives and your self defense, as you should. And you need, still need to print, uh, train your, your mother art, your background, if you will. You don't have to traditional, you know, block and do all that stuff, but doing this block could be a, a you know, you, you see the Tony Blower uh, spear system stuff. That's karate. That's a lot of karate. They have that in their systems. People don't know that. But if I'm here, he goes to attack, he goes to grab me, and I spear him like this, especially if I'm attacking him, you know, with a, a forward, outward, upward block like this. Imagine if I did it with a strike. If I was here and he goes to attack, and I actually attacked his throat with this, almost a hammer fist, and struck him and, and did my thing, that's martial arts. So you do see martial arts in a reality-based self-defense. Especially the, the Thai boxing, man. That's amazing stuff. So in, in my Jeet Kune Do system, what we did was uh, two punches. So you call it a straight blast, jab cross, very very Wing Chun, very close quartered. Right to two Jiao Sao's. The Jiao Sao is that cupped hand to the ear. Very devastating strike. Well, you would practice it with your, you know, your, your Kung Fu entries and everything, your trapping. But just this, one, two, one, two. Could be at the face, two palm strikes. He goes to move or something. Now I start to do Muay Thai, right? Could go into combatives. So let's, let's do a drill here. Um, and I'll show you how you can train them separately and then blend them. So, uh, my Jeet Kune Do, let's say I have a, a partner and I'm doing like a Tan Sao into a Jiao Sao. Well, grab him to an elbow strike, to the knee. That's a pretty good entry, right? If I'm doing my uh, straight blast, so uh, elbow strike, right? You do your combatives. Hammer fist and elbows and things like that. Put them together. So I'll, I'll just do a drill here. I'm in my stance even. You just flow a little bit. So how could that happen realistically? He goes to grab me, right? I cover. I palm strike. Him. Two of those, right? Just to get him kind of like in this configuration and I'm beating the hell out of him. And then I'll start to hammer fist and knee. So I'm here, I don't want any trouble or something. Alright, and I just made that up on the spot. I didn't really, I don't even know what I did. So I'm here, I see him, I see him move. Go to elbow. There's your Muay Thai. Muay Thai long guard, for example. I don't want any trouble. He goes to do something. You start blasting knees and elbows. So your long guard, he goes to, to do something. There's my cover. Elbow, knee, elbow. That's your, uh, your Muay Thai right there. You're covering in Muay Thai. They cover. He goes to do something. And you see my posture. So it's still very good to do your background. I like to blend Muay Thai, Jeet Kune Do, Filipino martial arts, uh, the combatives, and blend it with your reality-based self-defense because it's, it's going to work better. It's a good way to train. Still good to do this type of stuff. It's still good to do this brutal reality based stuff. 
But when you blend it, and you train it, it takes it to a whole new level. You got your martial arts, blending combatives, takes it to a whole new level. You have your combatives, you start doing your martial arts techniques and blending them, takes it to a whole new level. So learn how to blend your arts, make it realistic, and you'll prepare your students tenfold.